Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to turn a science flask into a miniature aquarium with no filter. This is the flask that I'll be using. It holds about two liters, is completely spherical with quite a big opening at the top, which is useful because it means my hand can fit in the flask. I think it has a really interesting shape and will look great as a mini aquarium. There is however one problem, because of its shape it can't stand upright on its own. But luckily, a few years ago I made this plant pot holder, which is the right shape and size to hold the flask upright. I can set the flask on top of it and rotate it to any angle I like. I think it's a little bit too colourful, which could take away from the finished product. So before I start anything, I'm going to paint it grey. I think that looks a lot better, and now that it's dry, I can start to work on the aquarium. I want to have it at a slight angle, because I think it looks more interesting, but I still want to make sure it's full enough of water. The first thing to do is add the substrate. I'm using a coarse grained natural coloured sand. I really like the colour of the sand and I also find it very easy to plant into because of the size of the grains. I'm sloping the sand up towards the back to create a better sense of depth in this very small flask. The next step is to choose my main piece of hardscape. I've got a lot of grey cereal stone to choose from and a wee bit of dragonstone too so before I decide on anything I try everything out and pick which one is my favourite. I decided on this one as I think it fills the space really well and it's also interesting the way it has the little hole in the middle of it. I considered adding a couple more smaller stones but I decided the one piece on its own was the best. For plants, I'm going to be using trimmings from my 20 gallon tank. This is Limnophila siciliflora and it grows really fast. It's a stem plant so I can just trim it and put the stem straight into the substrate and it will continue to grow. I've also got one piece of Pogestamon Helferi as well as a few trimmings of Rutala rotundifolia. The pink colour of the Rutala will really stand out. I'm filling the flask up using water from my 20 gallon tank. I'm doing it through airline tubing so it flows in slowly and doesn't disturb everything. I think it looks great, and now it's time to liven it up by adding some ram's horn snails. I'm also adding a couple of red cherry shrimp. I don't need to acclimate these as I filled the flask with their tank water, so it has all the same parameters and temperature. They instantly started exploring the aquascape. All the limophila in the back gives them loads of cover so they feel very comfortable. The limophila is also a big reason why this tank has no filter. Because this is an aquarium in a science flask, it's only right for me to give you a little science lesson on why this setup doesn't need a filter. In a normal fish tank, 
The filter converts ammonia produced by the fish waste into nitride and then nitrate, keeping the water clean and safe for the inhabitants. However, plants also absorb nitrogen in the form of ammonia. So by having a very low bio load, only a couple of shrimp and snails in this bowl, as well as packing it full with fast growing stem plants, I'm able to maintain a balance within the flask where the plants are using up the ammonia faster than it can reach levels, which could be harmful to the shrimp. Basically, having a lot of fast growing plants keeps the water clean and means I can put a couple of shrimp in it with no problem. Also, because I put the plants in from my tank, they will have some bacteria on them already, which converts the ammonia to the safer compounds. This means that the same process that happens in a normal fish tank's filter will be happening in this bowl too because of the bacteria that are colonizing it from the plants. So that's the end of my short science lesson on this science flask. I put some house plants around the flask to give it a jungle-like mysterious look. Even with no plants around it, a setup like this is perfect for brightening up and bringing some life to a dark corner in a room. Thank you very much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.